Okay, so hello everyone, hello future engineers. Before we have to proceed with the concept of solid geometry, we have to finish our topic on this plane geometry. And for this discussion video, we have to talk about quadrilaterals. So when we have to say quadrilaterals, we are talking about a general term for a four-sided polygon. Quadrilaterals could also be called in a term as tetragon or quadrangle. So in fact, there are six types of quadrilaterals. We have square, rectangle, rhombus, parallelogram, trapezoid, and trapezium. Each of these six quadrilaterals has special qualities, which will be discussed in the succeeding part of this discussion video. So just like what we have discussed in our polygon topic, still the quadrilaterals has common parts and it still is the same with the polygon. And these parts include, we have also the sides in here, we have to consider the sides. Wherein, when we talk about the sides, we are referring to a line segment joining any of the two adjacent vertices. We have all the corners of your quadrilateral. Same also with the polygon. We have to consider here what we refer to as our interior angles, wherein it refers to the angle formed between two adjacent sides. So just like or previous hato nung discuss sa polygon niya topics. We have also here heights or altitude. So we're in it is a distance between sa dua ka parallel sides ng ato niya quadrilateral. We have also the base here, previous ang triangle. We're in it is the bottom part or bottom sides ng ato niya per sa ang ato niya quadrilateral ng perpendicular sa ato niya altitude. Same also with the Polygon nga discussion, when we talk about quadrilaterals, may ari man tali Japan, may encounter nga diagonals. We're in kambaltagan i diagonals, kun i-review natin or recall natin sa concept natin sa polygon, diagonals are the line segment joining any two non-adjacent nga side or vertices, I mean, sa aton nga um, polygon or in this case, sa aton nga quadrilateral. <coughs> Okay, so when we talk about quadrilaterals, pwede siya nato ni classify into a different nga um, classification. So, and this includes base, kung nakita nato nari, we have your parallelogram, trapezoid, and trapezium. So, tatlo ka main na classification. But the parallelogram, pwede siya nato ni classify into two. We have the rectangle and the rhombus. And another <coughs> special case of rectangle is your square. So, ano ang kinalain or ano ang... Um, difference sa ato nga classification of quadrilaterals. So, the classification sa ato nga quadrilateral is based on the number of pairs sa iya nga parallel sides. So, kung makita natin dari, we have your parallelogram, trapezoid, and trapezium sa ato nga main gig nga, nga classification. So, when we talk about parallelogram, ang gina-consider dari natin, parallelogram has two pairs of parallel sides dapat. So, take note, parallelogram has two pairs of parallel sides. Kag kung lang tawa natin, sa atun, under sa atun nga parallelogram classification, may arata rectangle because rectangle has two parallel sides man, same with rhombus and same man with the squares. That's why, so, under sa parallelogram, ang atun nga consideration sang rectangle, rhombus, and square. Another one, we have your trapezoid. Maghambal na trapezoid, ang ating na ginaconsider, pwede tatawag ng trapezoid ang isa ka-quadrilateral kung ang present sa iya or kung ang ina ang quadrilateral contains only one pair of parallel side. So, one pair of parallel side lang ang aras iya, that is a trapezoid. And, the trapezium naman, kung wala agad parallel side ang imong quadrilateral, trapezium na siya. So again, take note, parallelogram, duwa ka pair of parallel side, trapezoid, isa lang ka pair, and then trapezium, wala agad sang parallel side. Okay, when we talk about sa quadrilaterals, may ara kita specific na formula concerning sa different parameters na kinalala natin isolve regarding quadrilaterals. However, there are several useful formulas for the area of a planar na convex quadrilateral in terms of its sides. Um, kung, since um, we have apat ka side, so pwede siya natin i-label as A, B, C, or D. So, parehos na rin sa ating figures. 
and ang aton nga diagonal gin label ko na lang siya as E kay para hindi ta ma-confuse with the side nga D. So E ang akon gin gamit for the for the diagonal. So amo na mga formulas nga pwede naton ma generally magamit if we have to talk about quadrilaterals. So number one, if ever ang given sa imo is the angle formed between your diagonal. So this one, angle formed between your diagonal. So this is the formula nga gamiton in order to find the area. So, 1 half E1 E2 sin theta. So, kung given ang dua or for example, provided ang distance between your dua ka diagonal and then angle between sa sininga diagonals or um, angle nga na form between sa dua ka diagonal. So, this is the formula nga pwede gamitin to find the area of a certain yung quadrilateral. So, kisa ang ginhatag sa aton are the sides of the quadrilateral. So, we're in, we have your a squared, <coughs> uh, one-fourth over, uh, multiplied by a squared, plus c squared, minus b squared, minus d squared, then we have your tangent, theta. So, take note, theta is the Ariman Dari Japan. Okay, so, we're in, ang aton nga a, b, c, kag d, are the sides nga gina-refer natin, or ang aton nga sides, ang aton nga quadrilateral. Next, we have your aring formula. Okay, kung tanawin natin, para yung sa itong nga uh, paglantaw sa triangle last time, we have Heron's formula. So, though, amun niya ang, ang equivalent sa Heron's formula, kung ang itong nga man sabong ginalantaw is your quadrilateral. So, we have square root of S minus A times square root of S minus B times square root of S minus C or times Square root of s minus a times s minus b times s minus c times s minus d minus a, b, c, d cosine squared 1 over 2 a plus c. Where s is still pareho sa itong nga Heron's formula, semi-parameter, and the angles a plus c dari, are the opposite angles sa itong nga quadrilateral. Okay, so again, sa na-mention ko nakagila, these are just general formula. Pero may ara kita specific formula na pwede magamit kung specific gidiya nga, nga type of quadrilateral ang aton nga kinangalali. So, and we have to discuss it. Isa-isa kunta na discuss ang different types of quadrilateral, I mean. So, we have quadrilaterals. Kung sari-sari nga type of quadrilateral ang aton ma-encounter, so Mayroon kita specific na formula nga pwede kamiton. And let's start our discussion with parallelogram. So, probably, medyo familiar na ta kung anong ginatawag ng parallelogram. Kung nakita na itong dris sa itong representation, subong, this is a parallelogram. Based sa itong kaginang uh, explanation of what a parallelogram is, maghambat na parallelogram, may ara kita sang dua dapat ka parallel sides. So, it is a quadrilateral whose opposite sides are parallel. So, ari nga side is parallel sa sininga side. Ining side sa babaw is parallel sa sininga side sa dalong. And, we have to consider hambal natin kagina may araki taginatawag na base. So, this one, pwede siya natin tawagun nga base. And this one, parallel sa atun nga or perpendicular sa atun nga base. This is your height. Okay, so, bisa ano man ang orientation sa mga parallelogram for as long as it has two sides, nga, or two parallel sides, two pairs of parallel sides, ginatawag na siya natin nga, parallelogram. So, take note that parallelogram have the following important properties. So, opposite sides are equal. Number one, pinaka property sa ngatun nga parallelogram is that opposite sides are equal. Next one, if we have to mention about parallelogram, opposite interior angles are congruent. Okay? Opposite interior angles are congruent. So, that means, okay, so opposite interior angles are congruent. So, both siling nga maghambak kita congruent. congruent opposite interior angles. Interior angles. So, but silingon, 
For, for example, there is a figure sa bong. Ang angle A ni mo is congruent or same with your angle D. So, next one, ikatatlo na nga properties ang parallelogram is adjacent angles are supplementary. So, supplementary. Adjacent angles. Okay, so kung balikan natin ang concept of trigonometry, maghamba kita supplementary angles, those are angles na kung i-add mo sila nga dua, will make 180 degrees. That means, gali, since we have adjacent angle, so adjacent angle na ito, tupadaing angle is angle A and angle C, that means your <clears throat> angle A plus angle C is equal to 180 degrees dapat. Okay? Angle A plus angle C should be equal to 180 degrees. Okay, there is opposite kung sa congruent kaginang interior angles. Ang example, there is naton, for example, is angle A is congruent to angle B. <clears throat> Next, ang aton nga diagonal, uh, kung ginalantaw naton, ang aton nga parallelogram, isa sa iyang mga property is that the diagonal divides the parallelogram into two congruent triangles. Kung makita natin, so, ang aton nga, nga diagonal dari, ginadivide niya ang aton nga triangle, ang aton nga parallelogram into dua ka equal or congruent nga triangle. So, for example, so, we have diagonals <clears throat> uh, divides the quad trilaterals into two congruent triangles. Okay, so example sina is that kung lang tawon B is congruent to angle C, D, B. Okay? So, ang ari nga triangle sa babaw is congruent sa sininga triangle. Okay? Or similar silang triangles. Okay? Those are the properties or important nga properties ng aton nga triangles. Okay? Another pagigali ad Add ko lang kung makita natin dari sa aton nga figure, ang aton dapat nga diagonals bisects each other. But siningon, it, uh, it cuts each other into two. So we have diagonals bisects each other. <clears throat> okay, so amuni ang limagid ka important ng property sa aton nga parallelogram. Okay, so kung nakita natin, or gin-mention na natin, there is a last nga property of your parallelogram, ang ginatawag natin nga diagonals. So, maghamba kita diagonal, so hambal natin kagina, those are the lines joining the opposite, or the non-adjacent sides ng natin nga, uh, quadrilateral. So, if sides A and B, and the angle theta are given, for example, sides natin nga, <coughs> Okay, label ko lang diha. We have your, for example, this is your side A. This is your side B. Okay, so then, ang aton nga theta or angle is this one. Or ari siya. Okay, yun nga part. Ang given, this is your theta. Okay, so kung lantawa natin, Given ta aring nga side, given ta aring nga side, and you have an included angle, pwede natin gamitin ang concept of your trigonometry para makita natin ang aton nga diagonal. So, if we have to look at this in 2D sa itsura as this one, so based lang sa given, we have amuni, and we have this side, and we have your theta. So, this is your theta, this is your A, this is your B. 
And if ever gusto natin pong itawan ang inyong side, okay, this is your diagonal. Okay, kung gusto ni natin pang itawan ang D or ang atong na diagonal, pwede natin siya masolve based on the concept of trigonometry. Okay, and that is through the use ng ginatawag natin nga, cosine law. Okay, so pwede natin gamitin ang cosine law. Okay, so just recall, ano ang atong yung cosine law? So if ever you are given an included angle, so if... Uh, between sa dua ka side and pangitaon mo ang another side you will have a formula nga okay so ang ginapangita ni mo ang gusto ni mo pangitaon opposite nga side sa si imong angle that is d squared is equal to square sang imong dua ka included or sang dua ka given nga side that is a squared plus b squared minus 2 This is your cosine law. In order for us to solve for the value of your diagonal. Okay, so take note naman nga if lantawa nato ang dari sa dari nga part sa aton nga parallelogram. So we have this one. So may arak ka. This one. You have this and you have this. This is your theta. Ang aring nga part. This is your H, and this is your A. So same na ni Japan, A man ni Japan, A man ni Japan sa daring part. So if any two parts are given, the relationship among sa sining ng mga values A, H kag theta may be obtained from the right triangle ng gakakita natin. Kung tanawa natin, this is already a right triangle na. So, right angle ang ma-form natin since din projection natin perpendicular to our base. So, uh, using the um, angle, hambal natin kagina. So, if ever given magit siya, pwede natin makita ang natin nga uh, any of the values. So, we have this one. So, Basta may given ka lang di, theta kag A, pwede tanin mo kung ang niya height. Okay? Next one is, kung gusto mo naman pangitaon ang ini nga angle, given ang A. So, kung gusto mo ni pangitaon ng angle, <coughs> are, so, pwede mo siya mag makita ang ini nga angle as, so, hambal na itong kagina, this is supplementary angle, that means kung i-add ni ang duwa ka angle, dapat 180 ni siya. Since we have theta, dere, So that is, kung gusto mo ni pangitaon ang angle, that is 180 minus ang given nga theta. Okay? Since makuha mo na ni nga angle, ang aring nga angle, that means pwede ka man liwat kagamit sa cosine law para makuha ang aring naman nga values ng diagonal. So still the same man siya po. Pero ang gamiton mong angle is aring naman niya sa buong angle. Ang mo naman ni mo nga included angle. Next one is, we have, for example, kung pariyo sa aton nga ginalantaw before or sa aton nga mga ginasolve sa aton nga, nga triangle manda or your, or your polygon, pwede man aton isolve ang aton nga perimeter. So, kung ang ginapangita sa imo is perimeter of a dua ka a plus dua man ka b. So, 2A plus 2B is the perimeter of your parallelogram. Another one, para use man sa aton nga solving before with the uh, polygon, pwede nga ang aton ginapangita sa aton or ang ipasolve sa aton is the area of a parallelogram. The area of a parallelogram can be obtained by uh, different types of formula. Depende kung ano ang given sa imo sa problem. If ever, ang given sa imo is base, ang base ni mo kung ang height, automatic that is, ang aton din, gamitin yung formula, kung given na ang base kag height, area is equal to base times height na lang. Okay? If ever, given na niyang base, given man ang height, automatic base times height na lang formula sa imo nga, nga, sa imo nga parallelogram nga ah, because kun lantawon naton okay i-project ko ni nga line so kun ipaud ko nga okay 
verbs height lang Japan or the length times width lang kung sa rectangle. Next, we have, so what if ang given sa akin is the sides of the parallelogram. Oftentimes, amun yung given. Um, sides ng parallelogram kag ang angle so, or unincluded nga angle. Any of the interior angles. So, we have uh, kung amun ang given sa aton, pwede naton gamiton ang formula nga A is equal to AB sin theta. Okay? AB sin theta. Kung given ka duwa ka side and an any nga interior angle, amun ang formula for your uh, area sa ngatun nga paralelogram. Okay? Take note that if we mention about the area problems, one will have to find the height or the angle theta using the right triangle containing the parts dere A, H, kag, theta. So, either dere may kinangalan ka pang itaon danay para makaperform ka either dere sa given. Depende lang for you to manipulate sa mga given formula. So, just use your knowledge with trigonometry. Okay? Sine, cosine, loss, or even Pythagorean theorem. Dapat mangin aware kita kung paano sila gamiton. Since diagonal nga, for example, uh, may given nga diagonal, so take note that the diagonal divides ang itong parallelogram into two congruent triangle. But silingon, ang area sa itong parallelogram is dualang. Dualang ka-area sa triangle. So, hambal natin ka ginagin divide niya into two congruent ng triangle. But silingon, pwede lang gali nga um, aring kuha ko ng area sa sininga triangle and then kuha ko ng area sa sininga triangle. Or, kuha ko ang isa ka-area sa triangle and then multiply ko lang by 2. Okay? So, kung uh, lantawan natin, so that's why nga we have the formula ng AB sin theta. Because, Okay, so because ang area sa triangle is one half AB. One half AB sine theta. This is for a triangle. Kung given ka isa ka side and an included angle, ang muna yung formula sa isa ka triangle. Sa triangle. Pero kung quadrilateral na or parallelogram na, I mean. sine theta. So, that's why, yung atong yung formula na lang for area of a parallelogram is ab sine theta na lang. Okay? So, that is the uh, mga importante ng formula at the same time parameters kung mag-discuss or mag-encounter ka mo problems regarding parallelogram. Okay? So, next ng mga discussion natin about quadrilaterals will be uh, that uh, will be discussed focuses on rectangles, rhombuses, and squares. And they are just special types of parallelogram. Depende kung uh, ano ang mga congruent sides kag angles sa ila. So we can classify some ano dang shape but still under na sila Japan on the classification of your parallelogram. So um, given man da bisan ano nga shape, pwede naton ibalikon ang concept of parallelogram. So we have to discuss that in the next discussion video.